Every time I talk about RFK Jr., it's suddenly the mic cuts out, and I think there's something there, man. No, the reason the mics are so hard to do is because this is how you talk. Yeah, I don't think it's really good. And then what's the issue? It's like, I have yeah. no idea how to... Uh, no, it's going to really, clip or it's going to... It is really yeah. all over the place. It's truly the duality of... I either have way too much confidence or none at all. <laughs> and I really don't know how to be in between. Struggle. No, it's a beautiful thing. That's why the pod is good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what, what do we want to level out? No, no. no. <laughs> then, then the career's over. <laughs> is this it? Did it start? This is it. It started. <laughs> okay, great. <Yeah. laughs> That's how you can tell it's a good I podcast. I just wanted is this to know. <laughs> I just, I had, a feeling, I had yeah. a feeling that this was it. Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome back We're to the dead. pod. Is this it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. Is this the is end? Is this it? Well, you see a bright light? <laughs> Fuck. Is this it? Oh, <laughs> damn. Like, this This is actually just the afterlife. <laughs> and then I do plugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be in hell for all of eternity if you want to come check that out. <laughs> Headlining hell with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> texting your friends hey do you want a feature for me in hell yeah. <laughs> I, I it, think I have texted my friends that I feel like if I got booked to headline hell I'd be like oh no my comedy's that bad <laughs> that I'm the entertainment in hell dude yeah, good, yeah. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Yeah. wait fun question though Actually, I think we're all gonna have the same answer. Do you think you would do better in hell? Comedi- yeah, comedy wise. Uh, yeah, heaven. yeah. I, heaven's a corporate gig. Yeah, heaven yeah. is a corporate heaven gig. Is heaven's hell. Heaven's yeah. the corporate gig. Yeah, the in biggest the sky. corporate gig. The corporate gig, in the, sky. The corporate yeah. gig in the sky. Yeah. I mean, if heaven is like Catholic heaven, then we're fucked. But if heaven is just like the idea of a cool, chill place, it might be Margaritaville. That, oh my I, God. I would say you know heaven I mean? is Margaritaville. The closest yeah. I've come to that feeling would be a higher huge. power. Do you know what I like? <laughs> yeah. It could be huge. Yeah. If hell it, actually is non-domination, like. Non-domination, non-denominational heaven. Yeah. Where it's just like, you think you're in a brewery, but you're like, is this a church? Right. <laughs> when you meet those like new Christians that are like, well, they're just playing a guitar and being cool. And nobody has alcoholism. Yeah. You're just hanging out. Yeah, you're just chilling. If hell is actually like, you're just getting your toenails pulled off and your eyes plucked out by birds, I'm going to bomb. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I specific but see, culture. I think people who are in extreme pain really get my vibe. <laughs> I think anyone who's going That's like, a good oh point my also. God, they like really under happy people are like, what is wrong with this guy? <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> is. got a nice haircut. It's really hard <laughs> to perform for happy people. They don't, don't get it. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I, I got distracted. Like, a bunny nudged my foot. It really is like it's an insane. Vi- it's an insane vibe, right? Every time he touches me, I feel like I'm meeting a celebrity. I'm yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, shut up, shut up. It's Yoshi, happening. Yoshi it's happening. is a celebrity. They might be some of the most famous rabbits. They're not that famous. But, but as far thousand, as rabbits go. Yeah, we have a thousand YouTube subscribers and I'm like, show me a more famous rabbit. Right. There's like maybe two and I know them. And they're, they're famous good. for being rabbits. Yeah. That's yeah. Their yeah. Thing. These guys are just like, they're here. They're podcasters. Yeah, yeah, yeah they here. are. We're yeah. come town in their red scare. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we're, we're, we're being disgusting and they're like, we're just going to eat lettuce in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> we're <Wait>. skinny. <laughs> 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 I um I was so yeah over the weekend I was taking they care like of the guys. They like because it keeps you skinny. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm no, I'm just taking care of the guys. I called out Wilbur's name. He popped out. Highlight of the weekend. I just start uh, googling a bunch of rabbit facts, <laughs> and I see rabbits are highly intelligent. I literally in my head went, "You're goddamn right." Like, You're goddamn right. Get a scholar. Like this is the closest I think I'm going to come to kids right now is being sort of an auxiliary. Parent I mean, I hope so. To bunnies. <laughs> it's so many steps removed. Yeah, from, and yeah. I've, I've already. I, I can already tell. Like, I think the... Pa- I'm like, you're smothering him, Maddie. Kenyon, you give him way too many fucking pellets. Kenny, you're the dad who stepped up. I am the dad who stepped up. <laughs> but it's a picture of a bunny. Yeah. Would you like to officially be their godparent? I would. I will wow. take care of him. I remember you're like, uh, my asthma, I might not be able to have the bunnies. I'm like, I'll take the goddamn bunnies. Yeah. There, oh. I would for sure have those oh. little guys in my room. It'd be a little bit of a different vibe, but we'd have <laughs> <laughs> We'd work it Maybe out. Maybe running around. It'd be fine. I think so. I feel like I'm already like I was born in America, but I will for sure be like an immigrant dad parent, which is sort of like <laughs> sad shit. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're mad you don't have the new VHR headset? I didn't have the will to live until I was almost thirty. <laughs> <laughs> My dad never got that for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and other examples, I don't want to be. I don't. I feel like anything I say is going to be like so racist. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but I didn't know where that came from. In oh, other no, examples, because you no, said immigrant. We're riffing parents. on immigrants. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. That's that, really, you, like, gotta, like, you gotta take the lead on that one. Oh, yeah. I thought, I think I thought, you can't just stop and then let us be like, and then they do this. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's horrible. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just thought in your head, you're like, oh, everything I say is going to be racist. So I'm no, going to say like, other example. You're going on a big immigrant dad riff. I was like, we can't really punch that one up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're just going to have to simply carry that by yourself. Oh, okay. Dude, I remember <laughs> I got Much like an immigrant. I got yeah. an audition That's one time. Do. 
I, I, I got an audition one time for a, it was like a daughter of an immigrant and they sent it to me and it said any race, any race, any ethnicity, but I was so new to auditioning that I didn't know you could just be like, oh no, I don't think this is a good fit. So yeah. I had like, I, I just tried to make myself look like Polish or something. Yeah. <laughs> like I really tried to like get it. You know what I mean? I had like a little like scarf. Like I was like, yeah, you I had was a little like, babushka You had a babushka scarf. and you just don't smile. <laughs> Yeah. I was like yeah. really trying to sell like white immigrant and I was like I, mean, I don't even know like <laughs> there's a tape somewhere of me being like this place is crazy <laughs> the, the, the streets crazy. are Everyone paved with gold all this time. <laughs> I talk about my pussy and now I have money <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> I am respected in the art of talking pussy <laughs> I, talk, <laughs> I talk about pussy and the ambassador does not poison my water <laughs> 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 I am happy to be booked at the bunker. <laughs> I'm happy to go downstairs for once in my life. Usually that means the end, but here it means the beginning. A fruitful career. <laughs> Dude, is there stand up comedy in Russia? There's got to be, right? Hundred, there definitely yeah. is in the Ukraine. Well, oh, yeah, because yeah. there's that whole documentary. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Damn. I don't know if there is in Russia. I feel like, it, I feel like, because, like, UK, they're kind of the people of the UK are very funny because they have less hope than America. They're not like, I'm gonna make it. They're like, nothing's gonna happen. I'm gonna sit <laughs> yeah. and drink three pints. But in Eastern Europe, they like fully are like, no, we're beyond laughter. Like, we're just staring at yeah. the They don't even like smiling. They have all I mean, smiling's they, a lot. Yeah, they, they like, are all They have like Tim and Eric. Like, Tim and Eric does have very like Eastern Bloc core vibes. Yeah. Right, yeah. I mean, my friend, comedian Kevin Casey White, went on Romania's Got Talent. Dude, I've heard because about the story several times. It's just, so fucking awesome. But like, there yeah. weren't a lot of Romanian comedians. Like, it was all comedians from like Spain and Ireland and the US. Because I think they don't have them there. No. Damn. It is crazy. To and have, then like, there was like one that was the judge and he was mean. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I was going to move this to so the rabbits. Can't oh, yeah. knock it Don't over. Don't have the Diet Coke. Yeah. Don't have to. They just Can you imagine they, if they had Diet Coke? <laughs> they're getting hyped I think up and would... they figure it out how to get out do of Do you think they would do <laughs> like, you know, when Willy Wonka and Charlie floats to the ceiling? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just jumps through the ceilings. <laughs> Dude, they do when they get excited. They run and jump in the air and kick their legs behind them. Like, oh! a, little, like a little happy oh, heel. Clip. How do we make have them excited? Ever... They're called minkies. Ah! Whenever I take them on vacation with me, like when I go down to visit my parents, if I bring them with me, and they have to sit in a, like a little carrier in the car. When they get out, they run around the room and click their heels. Oh it's like my so God. cute. It's unbelievable. You do that three times. Or if I give them a new treat, sometimes they do it. It's <sighs> like the gar- like the Narnia thing. You just They open up a new universe for you to go through. <laughs> <laughs> feels like if they do that, they're like, come to Rabbitville, Kenyon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> leave for this new portal of a life. Do you think they have stand-up in Rabbitville? <laughs> <laughs> I get booked in Rabbitville. <laughs> Yeah, where's the weirdest? Pl- have you done stand up out of the country? No, I think I did like an open mic I don't in London. Care one time. for the idea of it? <laughs> 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 I feel like everything I say is very like I don't know. Like I've done stand up for crowds that were all tourists from Europe, mm. and I'll say like Plan B, and even that is like you have They're to like, say the morning after what are you pill. Talking about? Yeah, yeah. It is like I didn't realize like how American a lot of my stand up was too. But I talk about like fat people at Walmart. Yeah, and I talk about like. like even if it's not like about America, I do think it's like you don't realize how much you are of this culture yeah. until you like look and you're like, oh, the sentiment of it. Yeah, every is time like I try American. to do stand up for European crowds, I'm like, I am a hick, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like I have no idea what what they know. I I was talking doing crowd work with a European uh, the other day, and I asked him if they had a like like electronic uh, wheelchairs mm-hmm. in, the, in the grocery store. They're like, no, I've never even seen one of those. Oh my god! And right. I'm like, see, that's why cigarettes over fast food. They made a choice. Yeah, the yeah. life, but it'll, it'll be fuckable the whole time. And honestly, yeah. if you walk everywhere, yeah, you can smoke cigarettes and eat chocolate croissants. Yeah. yeah. And they're in vegetables. What a life. They've never even heard of that. And I was like, here, they're like, we're weirded out if people can walk in a grocery store. Dude. Well, we're like, you know that's our Olympian. You know what's crazy? I have a friend who went to Europe and ate, like, the food over there, but, like, didn't go for any cheap food. It was like, I'm going to eat, like, yeah. local food and, like, really take in the experience. They... Their food over there is such high quality that they came back to the States. Yeah, and lost weight. No, no, no. They were allergic to stuff. They were having Whoa. allergic reactions to this thing they never had allergic reactions to before. And then they went to an allergist, and the allergist was like, 
so wait, she, was, have you been abroad? And she's like, yeah, I spent time in Europe. And he's like, oh, I've seen this. Like, knew what it was immediately. Lady, you're allergic like, to freedom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're going to have to give you some insulin. You're just not <laughs> going to have to shoot an AK and say a thousand Hail Marys. <laughs> like, Sorry you're so- allergic to saving money and eating food that tastes good. That yeah. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but they were like the nitrates and preservatives were the things that she's yeah, allergic not- to. And so things that she thought was like, even cinnamon, she was like, yeah, they're like, it's not real cinnamon. No, like cinnamon sticks aren't real cinnamon. No. Oh, I, well, you yeah. know, there's a Mountain Dew lobby. The Mountain Dew tastes different in Europe because there's a chemical in it that they keep lobbying that is very, like, causes cancer. And they lobby to keep it in the drink. Oh, my God. But every God. other country, they're like, no, that's illegal. We just kind of save that for war. And here we're <laughs> 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 we use that as weapons against our enemies. And here we're like, mm, it's got a zing to it. Yeah, but aren't we, aren't we strong? Yeah, though? no, it's all cancer. You're just buying different types of cancer. But yeah. I'm saying, like, if they tried to, like, use Mountain Dew on us in a war, we'd be like, nom, 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 nom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah building, you, do you watch The Princess Bride? He yeah. Was like, I've been building up an immunity to hide on for the right, last 20 yeah, yeah, yeah. years yeah. or whatever. That's, that's just, what we're doing. That's an American yeah. with it's everything. It's so that if we, we ever already get invaded, have tumors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like an organic fucking bulletproof shield. <laughs> all the, t- the tumors. Tumor. If they drop yeah. apples on us, we're fucked. Yeah, we, oh, God, we just break out knives. <laughs> shoot apples and carrots dude, at us. Speaking of fucking unnatural food, have you ever been to Maine? No. I was there for the first time. This I weekend. also don't care for the idea of Maine. <laughs> really? <laughs> don't I, care is such an old white person. I'm thing. Just like, <laughs> that's how an old white lady says she just d- hates somebody. Yeah. I, don't, I don't care for you. I bro. just like <laughs> hate hi- I like hate hippies and camping. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It seems like you really were. This is a big where we diverge. Camping. I know, I know, I know, I know. No, but no it's again, she's the older sis that had to hold down the fam. And, I'm yeah. like, and you're running in a meadow and you're like, I love camping. And you're like, that's just, I got I got too much to focus on. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Punks hate hippies. <laughs> mm. I love like a little. I mean, I'm such a like what I look like I am, you know, just a, sure. like a coffee shop and everyone has tattoos and I'm like, I love it. here. Yeah, I mean, I love that, but That's I don't fun. like the woods. I love the woods. Ugh. I get a I little. Love the woods. I, I like woods I for a bit, for but I really, woods. I really would like to go back to like an air conditioned cabin. Yes, thank I, you. I need to right. have. I need to thank have access woods to the right, showering. But woods the, the right time of year when you like can go camping and like. You cook your meals out Wrong. there, and you hike what? around all day, and you sleep under the stars. <laughs> you sleep under the stars, and you wake up with the sun. You know what else? They're biggest, feral people. Yeah, one of my biggest accomplishments is now. It's like, man, you guys lived through the Civil War. Now I have all these acts. I'm not gonna go vacation in the, my family's horrific past. You want me to poop? I mean, to like cook meals by a fire, ho- hoping the fucking gorillas don't find us. It's like you want me to hell. poop in a damn hole yeah. and get murdered by a guy holding a brick? Yeah. No way, dude. You want, you want the woods, weird. and then you go right back to civilization. Yeah, it's a nice walk. Wa- that's why Asheville, you stay at a nice Airbnb. I only go on to the woods that are directly off of New Jersey Transit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I slept uh, in a tent one time and it was so cold overnight that I looked down and my stomach had turned blue. So you it almost was like, died. And this is your pitch? pitch? And this is, yeah, this is vacation. But then we moved to the car and it was a good memory that bonded us. That, did you almost? See, I don't need to. I didn't almost yuck. die. I don't need to LARP struggle. I also, <laughs> I'm a woman who lives in New York. I almost die every day. Yeah. <laughs> and then I go to my apartment and I go, I feel a lot closer to you guys. Yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but all of this is to say, a natural food. I went to Maine and uh, the Amtrak up there, the Down Easter, they do like local food that gets like on the Amtrak instead of just Amtrak That's nice. people. Nice. It was cute. And so I ordered a hot dog and the hot dog was like <laughs> bright red, yeah. like bright, like fucking this color red. Yeah, dog penis. And I was like, yeah. what is, <laughs> it is totally dog, it's pe- dog I penis. I almost said that on stage, I was like, you guys but are eating dog It's dog yeah. penis hot yeah, dog. I and hot I Googled dogs. it. That's just like a main hot dog, and it's chicken on the inside, and it's bright red. That's horrible. Like, what? Nightmare. It was one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, it was pretty so you're like, I'm going to try your natural artisan food. Mm-hmm. Can I have a hot <laughs> <Yeah>. dog? <laughs> <laughs> I know you're going to say you had like a lobster roll. I was, and you I ate was it. thinking like charcuterie yeah, boy. Like, it was hot, local. It was 7 Eleven hot, a hot dog and an Amtrak. It was local, but it wasn't fancy. <laughs> okay, hold on. Before we go any further, don't shit on the idea of a hot dog on an Amtrak. That's hot a dog good time. Amtrak is yeah. great. That's Real a good time. Real cheese on an Amtrak is top tier. I have a group chat with Dave Ross and Ismail Alfie because when they were on their Amtrak tour, I texted them was like, gotta try the grilled cheese. And they sent me a picture when we did, when they did. And now every time I'm on an Amtrak and I order a grilled cheese, I it's just like three times a year I just text them a picture of a grilled cheese. It's so good. It's like shitty good because it's like, 
Yeah, kind of like that. rubbery crust. Like it's like yeah. disgusting. It's so good. It's like how the cheeseburger you get at a water park is the worst, best thing you've ever had. Have you I, ever done I that? I do really love some water park food. Thank you. Yeah, I love some like water Thank park you. chicken fingers. Or like funnel cake. The chicken fingers, the funnel. It's so fucking good. Guys, we and should a miss, soda miss a that's water bigger park. than anything you've ever seen. I yeah, I haven't been to a water park in, in so long. You wear, I'm wearing my like triple XL shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, shirt, on. shirt all Shirt's day on, on the pool. Yeah, no matter what, but it's like a gown now. It's just dripping all over the place. Getting in my chicken tenders. Oh my god! The chlorine flavor. Just having tenders. fucking fruit punch stain on your mouth. Oh my god, it's great. Getting in the pool. I love. Let's go to a fucking water park. I love a water park, dude. Man. I like my like watered down pussy version of like you know how there's the whole thing of like punk guys seem the most intimidating, but they're actually like really nice and yeah. cool. And if you fall down in a mosh pit, they'll pick you Which, up. Which, by the way, is like they will ghost you. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But my like version of those guys, I remember being a kid and being in the wave pool and there was like a yeah. corner where it turns into like a vortex I know exactly and there was always like <laughs> yeah. a, a was that older wild? yes yeah I know yes. exactly what you're talking about the yeah. corners and it's I like you can corner. fucking die you honestly probably like could die if you I remember there was like that little gate that did look like you were gonna be stuck against it like yeah, yeah, yeah I was always hanging out near the vortex for some reason I feel Dude, like that was you. the only part of the pool that I went into I was a big <laughs> vortex kid I was like the vortex is where it's at man yeah there are kids who are vortex kids and kids who are not and we all are we're all vortex kids <laughs> but I, I, I was like, take me with you. Yeah, I was like, I, I gotta feel something. Yeah. But I remember there were these guys. I was like, they were like twenty five. In reality, they were probably like sixteen, and yeah. I was like nine, so they seemed so much older. But they were like the cool guys that were like making sure nobody died. And if you got sucked under, they'd pick you back up. And I was like, these guys fucking rock. I wanted them to think I was cool so bad. Yeah. But the vortex was huge. Like, the the huge. wave pool is the precursor to the mosh pit. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a yeah. pipeline. There's a pipeline here. <laughs> I'm actually, I hate to hate to brag, I am the face of a, there's a water park in El Salvador. Sorry? What? If you Google this, Google images, you can see me, like a, a very morbidly obese sixth grade me. Google stuck, it now! Stuck in a Shut tube up. in my cousin's behind me and I look very You got a gust of glue stuck in a tube? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, there, so there was a kid that I was- I don't know why I'm making so many Charlie the Chocolate st Factory st Stuck in a tube before us. And in America, I feel like that'd be like, we gotta call somebody. They started laughing. Pushed more kids yeah. down the tube to dislodge him. That's awesome. They that just rules. kept doing it. Wait, like, what do we Google? Can we please see this yeah, website? It, uh, yeah, here, you guys keep riffing. I'll find it. Oh my god, please! Will <laughs> oh, you send Fuck. it to me so we can put it in the? Yeah, episode? we will put we will put it there. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, it's Atlantis. If any if any listeners are going, it may Dude, have that's gone crazy. under. Atlantis. Yes. Do you have any? When I lived in LA, when I was like into just until like kindergarten, apparently I was like scouted as a model when I was like four. And there's Whoa, so, Maddie I, Wiener lore, by the way. I didn't know you lived <laughs> yeah, in LA. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I was born in LA. Well, wow. Really? Yeah, I was born in San Francisco. We've been we're, we're, and you are very much the LA, and I am very much the San Francisco. You guys are version. chasing each other. Yeah, we are chasing <laughs> each other. But <laughs> but I was in a, a print ad for a Puerto Rican airline that only ran in Puerto Rico. So this, this is a it slay. right here. How's that this for is, okay? This is it right here. I, I found it immediately. Oh my god, you found it immediately. Yeah. So that's me at the bottom. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> we need to add that in post. It's kind of great. This is listening. amazing. This should be your album cover. Yeah. Holy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh my god. It looks like the water is also squirting out of my tits, which I enjoy. Your pants are so inflated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's so awesome. Yeah. That's pretty, great. Pretty great. That's so awesome. It's also funny because you look so scared and they're like, this is the most fun anyone's ever had at this water park. Put it on the website. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, like crying. by the way, speaking of you being the face of a Puerto Rican airline or whatever, when I was a kid, I was like, <laughs> I said, what? It's a knuckles at all. But Wait, is that what you no, said? No, I was the face of a Puerto Rican airline. You were the oh, face of a water. I was looking at the phone. I thought we were yeah, talking yeah. about the water park. You're like, face of a Puerto Rican. I'm like, I just showed you the water park. I was like, it's been four seconds. I'm like, I'm like the worst person ever. I'm like, that's what planes are like there. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get some inertia to fly off. <laughs> No, when I was a kid, I had like I was like a little kid with like short blonde curls and I had a dog. So my parents told me that I was the copper tone baby 
like that I was the model oh for the Coppertone baby. And I was too young to get that they were joking. So then when I was in like fourth grade, I told a bunch of people that. And some girl came into school the next day. I was like, my mom said that that logo has been around since blah, 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 blah. Like all and I was like, everyone was like, you're a liar. Oh. And I was like, they lied to me. I didn't know. You start crying. Everything <laughs> falls apart immediately. Yeah, it was horrible. Oh. Everybody thought I was a pathological liar. And yeah. I was like, I just there didn't are, know. There were those kids in elementary school. I know, though. I know. That's, that's like dude, a very common trope. That's why it was so embarrassing. Like, my dad's a millionaire and I have five houses and it's like we're both getting free lunch right now i know oh. always like oh uh, yeah i broke my ankle yeah and they're just wearing like an ace bandage that they found yeah. in their mom's closet and i well, will i'm not gonna say illness. i did go through that phase well we're, I, I mean i was always trying to get out of running the mile <laughs> were oh. you a, were you a walk the mile girl i was, Bitch. I was a walk yeah. the mile guy I, I remember yeah. we had like a refugee camp of all the fat kids because me <laughs> me and my buddy fernando like it was like we were do, like being sentenced to do it in prison everyone's doing it like eight minutes and we like walked half it we're like holding each other <laughs> i'm like think of the cinnabon brother and we're like just sweating and crying we're I, like, oh. I like <laughs> we playing weird. sports we've and never stuff. smoked cigarettes yet we're phlegm just coming out <laughs> we're spitting up phlegm we're trying to use it to slide to get further down <laughs> I like good. played sports and stuff I could have done it probably but I had such a problem with authority yeah when I was mm. a kid for no for no reason I was like a very privileged like yeah. little girl but for some reason if someone was like you have to do this I'd be like mm, I can walk it oh uh, no we've... I think I had the opposite thing where I was like scared I was gonna get in trouble if I walked it so I ran it even though it was really I, hard that was, I, gym class was truly just bullying across the board I thought it was just organized bullying dude the only year yeah. that it was remember the presidential fitness test Fuck that that. I hated that. So first of all, I'm like, the president. Like the most <laughs> <laughs> I was like, the president, the president cares that I have tits? Why doesn't he put better food in the schools? This isn't being recorded. How about the you put president. him for the fucking test? And you have to like perform in front of your peers. Yeah, I remember they did the pull-up thing. And my last name starts with an A, so they were just like, Kenyon, you're up. And I'm like, I can't do it. I just knew I couldn't do it. And they're like, and you, they're have, like, to you have to try. try. And so they're like, you have to watch everyone. Everyone has to watch to be a fat loser, Kenyon. It's just yeah. part. It's the president. His the demand, president yeah. demands that the you must. Of our land <laughs> you must be a fat you loser. Yourself for the for the country. That's so dystopian. So what I did Dude, was I, I jumped up for a second to make it seem like I did, and he said, "No, you didn't do it." And so I struggled really no. bad. No. And then he just went, "You can stop now." And I went, and then, "I oh, told God. you." And then you threw up. Yeah. Then I threw <laughs> up. Dude, imagine doing the presidential fitness test not like under Trump. <laughs> oh my god! Like how many Big Macs can you yeah, eat? Yeah. You gotta yeah. drink. You gotta drink three diet cokes and just tweet something wild. <laughs> how fast? <laughs> how fast can you shit your pants? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every fast, president looks like the they're way. gonna die right now. Also, <laughs> <laughs> the presidential fitness. <laughs> if you the had presidential fitness they, test, is walk up. Make them do the presidential if they fitness. Both fitness. Had to run one run mile, if they both had to run a mile right now, I think they would die. <laughs> yeah, I think they would both uh, actually just. It would be like an international crisis if they both had to run the mile. It would be hilarious. Damn. Dude, speaking of politics. You just put an ice cream cone at the end. Biden's like, God damn. He's like, yeah, every, the last bit of life just p- kicks in. <laughs> you get him to run a mile because there's a reporter following them, asking them about Gaza. <laughs> 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 Fucking sprinting. Yeah, he's like, that's the only time they run. <laughs> Dude, speaking of politics. Yeah. Uh-oh. Huge thing. No, Dude. this is a win. Are you running? <laughs> Maddie for president. First the mile and now for president. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She runs across the board. Dude. This is a huge win for the podcast and a cultural overlap that I don't think we thought would ever happen. Oh, my God. In a strike, workers at Waffle House have earned wage increases across the country. You're goddamn Let's right. Go. Hey. Did, hey. did you guys do that? <laughs> Let me do Yeah, yeah, no, that was us. <laughs> no, but it, uh, we love Waffle House and we love Shout unions. Shout out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. But, you know, the two rarely overlap. I'm looking it up right now. I don't think that's true. I think but a I lot of like union guys go to a Waffle House. Yeah. That's probably true. I guess I just mean, <laughs> I love Waffle House, but there's a lot of overlap culturally and morally with people that I'm like, right. okay, it's a complicated relationship. Sure. But I yo, do think the thing we all agree on, is every poor person agrees on unions. Yeah, yeah. Republicans and Democrats. Yeah, everyone's like, I got to protect myself oh, wait, a little bit. I lo- maybe I, it was just Atlanta. I'm trying to see if it was nationwide. No, they're pushing for $25 an hour. Oh, fuck. Maybe it wasn't nationwide. But I got wait. I got a text. Let me read the text. 
You got a text about it? They texted you <laughs> personally? Yeah, I'm on some... <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'm on a Waffle House text chain or like... A union a, text yeah. chain. Yeah. I got a, her a shirt for is, your birthday that said Waffle House Princess. Yeah, isn't that the cutest thing in the whole oh. world? Yeah. No, it's pretty great. Yeah, this was on Saturday. Breaking. Worker strikes at Waffle House win servers raises nationwide. Yeah, I don't know who... They just played it videos of thing. all of them surviving stabbings. They're like, yeah, we should get <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, if any fast food person should get Maybe they it. should get Benny's a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here's an extra $10 an hour and everyone can open carry. <laughs> <laughs> so it does become a prison halfway through the night. It is. That's a fun question. Would you rather have healthcare benefits or a gun? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's like the craziest... You'll see signs of wa- some Waffle Houses that are like, after 2 p.m., we don't accept bills larger than $20. I've seen yeah. that in every wall. It's like, what? How heated? Does it get <laughs> yeah. a fifty? Yeah. Someone's gonna die over a fifty at yeah. three p.m. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To be I fair, when do you ever spend fifty dollars at a Waffle House? You don't eat so much goddamn food. I feel like yeah. I have spent fifty dollars the night I got to a drunken car accident, almost died because I ate, I remember I had like <laughs> two Waffle House big meals and I thought oh, I should be good. I like that's science. <laughs> that's like no, so, I get that. I thought, I thought if I got pulled o- like, like, over, they're like, "Well, did you have two Waffle House meals?" You're like, "Oh, you're good, brother. Get out of <laughs> they here." Call up the radio. Like he's had. <laughs> <laughs> two hash brown bowls, dude. Hash brown bowls? Yeah. That's like, <laughs> I feel like that's like them trying to be like, no, we have bowls. Yeah, yeah. We have a protein bowl. Oh, we have a grain bowl. bowl. Yeah. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, it is really good, though. The hash brown bowl is crazy. What is it? Hash browns, cheese, eggs, sausage, sausage. or bacon? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, God, that sounds fucking it. great. It's like a big bowl. I mean, there's like four breakfast foods and I just named all of them. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Like the only things that can be made of? <laughs> I just fucking miss a Waffle House so much. I know. Let's go. There's one in Pennsylvania. Really? How f- but it's like a few hours away, Probably. right? Probably. But we can do it. Yeah. Dude, we'll I'm thinking about... Road trip. I'm Waffle. thinking about bringing up my car this summer. Yeah, you must. Do you that'd, think that's the That'd move? be pretty big, especially think for Think about Brooklyn. how much fun we'd have. Yeah. yeah. It would be huge. I'm spending so much money on Ubers in Brooklyn that it's like... Yeah, it could be. I know. Good. But camping? don't you have like an SUV? We're not going camping, but everything <laughs> else would be. I'm going camping. With you can go the camping. Fuck. That's fine. If you're yeah. in the no boundaries tier, hit me up. I mean, you we'll just <laughs> turn off the AC in your room and you're camping. You're just surrounded I by know. animals and sweating. That's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Already pretty out there. But yeah, yeah, car could be huge. I think I might. Car could be huge. I'll go to a cabin. That would be awesome. Yeah, and I won't love it, but I'll go. <laughs> just complain, so just smoking cigarettes and complaining the whole time. I mean, I, that's what yeah. I'm doing if yeah. we're in, yeah. staying in the city, brother. <laughs> this is supposed Find to be our fucking place. anniversary. You, know, you got to take me to the woods, <laughs> the place people existed before anything nice. That's the idea of a good time. Find me a place where I'm, I can't smoke cigarettes and complain. I, I'll give you anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> in heaven. Oh, this is it. <laughs> that's what heaven is, in my, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> smoking cigarettes and complaining. No. Heaven is a, a porch. Yeah. 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 God, I do love a porch. You do have like a head uh, in charge of a DMV kind of vibe. Okay. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> I'm a nice lady. Yeah, no, like, <laughs> just really give you the business. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, you have to wait like everybody else, sweetheart. No, I mean, what special? it is, is if I couldn't do comedy, I would just be a Supercuts hairdresser. <laughs> That fucking rocks. That really That's is exactly what it is. There is a pipeline to you can't legally drive anymore and you work at Supercut. Yeah, and I can yeah. legally drive, but I do have a couple Deweys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Deweys. Yeah. You got to take a couple Deweys on the head. Yeah. Yeah, if you live in a rural area. It's fine. That's like the Uber surcharge. Brother, yeah. I, they'll put a breathalyzer on your car before they let you stop driving where I'm from. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the, the whole economy would collapse. Yeah. The state of Wisconsin lets you have four DUIs before they take your license away. That's so many. And I think it's like COVID because like, if we just really enforce this again, th- all of Wisconsin yeah. is done. No one's driving anywhere. That's fucking crazy. It's like they're just stuck at their house. I feel like such a nerd next to you guys, dude. You're, but you're cra- okay. but you're crazy in your own organic way. Yeah, that's true. You're like, it's I'm just- such a nerd. You go on stage, you're like, my pussy's dying. I have to put it in the light. <laughs> Which, oh, by the way, I'm doing a Wait. naked show this Friday. Any advice? You're doing Yo! the naked show? <laughs> yeah. That's people are like, how's New York going? I'm like, I'm showing my dick for stage time. That's oh, my show. God. I mean, truly, like, I admire you, but I'd rather you blindfold me and shoot me in the back of the head <laughs> than make me do that. Oh, I thought you said they'd have to see you naked. I like, <laughs> <laughs> work out. No, Jesus then make me do that Christ. show. No, I was like, <laughs> no, it's probably good. And it's going to be a bunch of weird poly people, probably. I don't even know. Yeah. Like, Where is it? Is it on Hacienda? It, yes, it is. Yeah, it's going to be a bunch of gay people. People. Well, that's they're fine. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, they're yeah. fine. <laughs> they're <laughs> fine. <laughs> you Happy Pride them. Month, everybody. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> but see, that really is actual. Don't be proud. Don't be ashamed. Actual be quality, fine. though. Everyone's just fine. 
No one's that goddamn great. But that's good. I mean, I feel like most of us are doing pretty bad. If you're doing fine, that's great. Yeah, fine's yeah, awesome. fine's, fine's huge. Fine's you can tell that most. I've been in New York too fucking long because I'm like, oh, which sex club is the naked chat? Hacienda? Yeah, you said that sarcastically. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I think that's the only no, one. No, I, I meant know. it. Yeah. I meant it. <laughs> I was like, it must be there. Yeah, yeah. I did a naked show in Chicago. It wasn't totally naked. Like, legally, the performers, law, like, you couldn't show your nipples and stuff if you were a woman, but like, you strip only down puss. to your underwear. <laughs> You said what? Can you imagine if the law was you can't show your nipples, only puss and butthole? <laughs> only the cool stuff. No, no pussy shit here. No, no pussy, no butthole, no nipples. <laughs> yeah, but it, but they give you like pasties if you want to. But I think I had like a sports bra and underwear on and I was like, it was like very fun. But uh, you do have to ask first what other comics are going to be there. Yes. Because there are certain comics that it's like, I'm not getting naked if you're just at I, the I show. I think I'm the only guy on the lineup and I'm like, am I going to get like my own green room or because I just feel like the... Can I wear clothes in the green room? Because that's going to be pretty awkward. You can, and you won't get your own green room. Okay, great. Yeah. You will or you won't? You won't. You won't? You can wear your clothes in the green room. You won't get your own green room is my guess. Yeah, that's what ours was, too. I just, would, I just don't want, like, if it's just like a bunch of women, and I have just an awkward thing. You're like, oh. Yeah, you're just... You're just like, what? Well, just looking up here. I'm telling you what. I'll tell you right now. You are going to be soft in front of your peers. No, I'm not. Not if I have anything to do with it, brother. I got a Bluetooth way locked Are in you load. Gonna, you're goddamn would be, right. Hard you're gonna would juice, be so scary. Um, you're gonna juice. You're goddamn, you think I'm going up there soft? Oh my god, I kind of want to go to this. Not, <laughs> Can you actually not, go up rock fucking hard? Yeah, you're goddamn like, not right. Not like half chub. It's because, full hard. Yeah, because that would be like so scary. I'm That's definitely, like a, I'm definitely a bit of a grower, and so I can't. And I, who isn't? And, and I can't go up there. You know, they got big dick jokes and they see it. They're like, oh, well, that's... You have big dick jokes? I feel like my energy is a little, like, aggressive. Oh, like, sure, confident. yeah. And You're I, just loud. And they're just... <laughs> right, shut up. Oh, whatever. I work at a DMV. Yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, I just don't want to be up there and be like, is this a woman too? Like, they're just like, that's a pretty big clip. Oh, like, I don't want That'd that. That'd be crazy. Yeah, so I'm definitely... I'm taking pre- precautionary measures, dude. Wow. You're really going to take a blue yeah, then that's like then I won't be I will be more nervous then you're about be my hard backstage and afterwards. That's fine. He could come. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's my big closer is coming. He on could stage. come. It's gonna be like Sea World where I'm like psh, splash zone. Yes, yeah, everyone's <laughs> free Willy. Yeah, <laughs> that's fun. Yeah. That was a fun one. That was a good time. Yeah, no, I gotta I, I gotta take because I'll be more worried about my dick being soft than anything else wait like by the way i pressed a button on this by accident is everything okay you should be fine yeah okay great yeah yeah. yeah we're i wanted to make sure we didn't lose free willy um that's great yeah. i this reminded me when you said the rules about not getting naked i used to run an open mic when the creek in the cave was in new york it's in austin now i ran an open mic there and there was like a room that was had a cabaret license so you could get naked and a room that didn't and that's where the open mic was and so there was this like homeless crazy lady who would get naked at every open mic and sing a song about how she sucks dick for money or drugs or whatever and you know that's what happens when you run a free open mic but the owner of the venue was like can you ask her not to get naked because this is technically part of the bar and it's like blah blah blah, not allowed whatever and i was her quote favorite comedian she thought my name was Lindsay, but (laughs) i was her favorite comedian so i could talk to her so I went up to her and I was like, hey, um, you can't get naked at the open mic anymore, but you can still like go up if you want to. And she was like, OK. She's like wearing noise canceling headphones to keep the voices out. And she's like, OK. <laughs> and noise so, canceling headphones, no clothes is crazy. It's amazing. Yeah. So she, so she goes on stage. <laughs> she was on stage at my open mic and she goes, Lindsay says I can't take my clothes off anymore. So I'm going to shit my pants. <laughs> and I had to be like, well, I mean, you can't do that either. And she was like, OK, bye. <laughs> Oh my god! I do love. I'd love a lunatic that gives you. He's like, you have two choices: yeah. get naked or a shit. My exactly, pants. and yeah. it's like, well, <laughs> yeah. I do think you must go home. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, well, go to whatever. You just go outside. You're home already. Yeah, go you're wherever you go. Yeah. Go wherever it is you go when you're not here. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty um, fun lady though. Did she ever come around anywhere? No. Have you seen her? Has she ever done? I wonder. If she's no, I mean she, she's not like around. <laughs> <laughs> what do she, you? Oh yeah, she's on Conan. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. saw her at the stand, just kind of shown face. Yeah. <laughs> She's networking, <laughs> shown boobs. Mm-hmm. She, it was like a good, you know. There's like obviously so many scumbags, especially in open mic comedy, 
before they get like a little bit weeded out or famous yeah. and uh or they become the biggest stars in the world yeah before they yeah. sell out arenas yeah so but the cool thing was she would like get naked and go on stage and sometimes like a real scummy dude would like start filming her oh and you would just watch another guy be like we laugh at her in here yeah that's fucking we don't sick. we don't do that we laugh at her and then she goes home and we don't post it on the internet even yeah. though even though she was posting a lot of porn on the internet she was butt naked Butt ass naked, dude. Damn, dude. Yeah. If only she had a place. Like Hacienda. Yeah. Really take that craft and, and thrive. I know. Yeah. God, it would be really funny if you bomb. <laughs> It'll be. I've thought about if it. If you bomb, come and shit your pants. That'd be like the fun. That'd be like the best oh day of my, my life. Oh, my God. <laughs> I had to. I want you to succeed. But it also would be funny no, if you failed. No, <laughs> honestly, I don't. That's a way better story. It would, yeah, it, would, it is a way better what story. What do you want, one moment. good set or the story that'll make your career? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, what are I, we talking what about here? Oh, my God. Came and shit my pants immediately. What if you have such a good set that you have to use it as a tape? <laughs> <laughs> well, there is. Uh, there are people who post so clips. so fucking hard? It's like just vertical. <laughs> People like do post clips from button. it. <laughs> really? Yeah. They just, yeah. Like, they just do, do the, the captions body. are over the. That's gems. awesome. Yeah. You got to do that. Oh, I will. That's sick, don't you, dude. Don't be worried about it at all. Good for you. Yeah. God, if that little kid in that inner tube and that what is it the water park ad? <laughs> yeah, he, he'd be so happy. If he knew, if only if he, he knew. knew. Yeah. Yeah, one day. You ain't going to just be scared at an inner tube <laughs> <laughs> with your tits flying out everywhere. If you could one day people are going to pay you to show off this little body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking it back. Not God just damn. use your pictures for free in a yeah. promotional ad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Damn. Well, dude, we should fucking plug, too. Okay. Yes. The fucking goat oh, has shut a up. Don't Tell Set out. You got a Larry's yeah. Don't Tell it's Set. It's so fucking good. Go watch Lizzie's Don't Tell Set. It's not even that we're at the end of the episode, but I just thought of it, and I don't want to go through the episode not talking about it. Thanks, guys. It's fucking so good. Thank you. I worked really hard on it. I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But thanks. It's uh, you can. It's at the link in my Instagram. If you click my, you know, click the link in my bio, it'll pop up. And follow Lizzie on Instagram, too. We'll tag her at the bottom of this. Um, yeah, whatever this is that you're seeing. It's Lizzie with a Y at the end and then Cassidy. Lizzie Cassidy. That's my name. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, you guys ta- you just taped in New York? Yeah, because I saw you that night. Yeah, afterwards. I did see you that night. Yeah, yeah dude. I taped it in New York. It was fun. Um, I accidentally called my ex-boyfriend right as it was happening. Wait, <laughs> like, oh, like a, po- a pocket dial? Pocket or? dial. <gasps> Forgot that he was my emergency contact. Oh. And I bought new jeans that were tight. So <laughs> my phone was like in my pocket and I think it was just like hitting the hold butt, the oh, lock button. No. And if you hit that like five times, it calls your emergency contact. So I'm like celebrating. All my friends are there. My boyfriend's there. And then I get a missed call from my ex-boyfriend. And I'm like, he's he's trying to tear me down on my big <laughs> night. You know, I like create this whole narrative in my head yeah. that he's like, I'm like, he's going to act like he's congratulating me, but he's just trying to make me feel bad because he's jealous or whatever. And then so I wait until the next day and I texted him and I was like, Hey, did you mean to call me last night? And he texted me back. I was returning your call. And I looked and I had called him and I was like, no! Oh, my narrative! <laughs> my narrative <laughs> is crumbling! But I was right! And it was so fun and I got it to was, be vengeful and resentful. It was so On fun. my big night, that is my favorite thing, is vengeance and resentment. Yeah! <laughs> yes! I mean, <laughs> what is... Kenyon. Oh my God, I hate that, man. He's always like, I'm actually hanging with them. They're pretty nice. And I'm like, you ever think about me? Yeah, I know. Me and my preconceived I notions. Know. Also, what is and, the point and, and of success? I like walking through this life and I see somebody and I'm like, fuck you. Dude. And I think, yeah, the point of success is taking it and everyone who doesn't know that you have this whole philosophy in your head where they have kept you down. I'll tell you, what's, what's the point of success if it's not at somebody? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this really got under his skin. <laughs> No, nope. he just was. He just got to feel like the good guy for calling me back. He's like, oh, and now he and now he gets to be like, I wonder why she called me. It was an accident. <laughs> well, listen to the podcast. I wanted, when he said I was just calling you back. I wanted to be like, oh, I must not have realized I called you because I was taping my don't tell set and hanging out with my boyfriend who loves me. But <laughs> I had to just say sorry. Oh, sorry. The tip of my new boyfriend's dick hit my phone and kind of just... It's so big. <laughs> <laughs> it's so big. It's always hitting my phone. <laughs> Dude, I don't know why that reminded me of that, but 
but I have to Go get my on. fucking IUD changed. Me too. Oh yeah, we we're talking about going together. We're gonna hold hands. hands. Oh really? Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, it'll be nice. What if they switch them and you guys get each other's powers? <laughs> <laughs> well, we could Freaky Friday. Yeah, Freaky Friday with your and pussies. nobody will notice because yeah, we're already no the same guy. Different. Yeah. <laughs> That is just a lot more aggressive. Starts chain smoking. <laughs> you're, you're very calm and sensitive. Yeah, everyone's like, Lizzie, you apologize for everything. Lizzie now? seems yeah, happier. Sorry, I might just make you a pussy. I'm yeah. so sorry. <laughs> no, everyone's like, Lizzie seems happier, and Maddie must be going through something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I honestly think if we Freaky Friday for a day, I'll just say for me. I would love to be able to uh, stand up for myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I would love to be Excuse not me, a cunt. Sir, please don't spit on my face <laughs> on the subway. <laughs> I would love to not be a cunt. I would love to not be a cunt for a day. I feel like you're nice to people you care about. I am. Which yeah. is more is honorable than being nice yeah. to everybody. This is all a ruse. I'm a nice, I'm a nice guy. She's yeah. a nice, li- you're the nicest. Yeah. yeah. I love you. I love you. Yeah. Maddie, Maddie's Midwestern nice. Yeah, that's the meanest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> you that's are the very meanest nice. thing you've I ever mean, said no, to me. No, but you'll be like, There's, "Oh, it's so good to see you later." You're like, "I fucking hate that." <laughs> I mean, Matt, I do do <laughs> that. Which is Midwest shit. I that do is do so that. Midwest. Like, I brought them a gobbler, and then later you're like, "I, I secretly wish they would die." But that's also, I mean, I do that too sometimes. Yeah. It's also having wanting to have a career shit. I'm like, I can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. we can't be burning every bridge you know and i'm like oh, we'll, we'll you, see about Patreon that hits, there's gonna be some <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna burn that no, bridge down with a goddamn my thing is maddie i love everything about you i will until the day i die but you are so nice to some real duds and it <laughs> makes it so hard to hang out with them like because i'll just be like i'll just be like okay thank you and then go back to my conversation and you'll be like do you want to sit and i'm like no yeah, don't <laughs> offer the seat no don't offer the seat it's always like come on just do the polite we way we were having fun Fun. And Maddie's like, oh my god, do you want my food? How about you come over? How about you take Kenyan seat? Now this fucking yeah, loser is gonna ask me to get past the yeah. gutter. Yeah. <laughs> I do I do have a pattern too of men kind of like falling in love with me because I'm like the only person who's ever been nice to them. Yeah. Like in a way <laughs> Can you imagine doing that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But like, but like yeah. even when I was in like like fourth grade, yeah. I remember like I'd be like I don't want them to sit alone. And then they'd be like, you're the person I talk to every day for the rest of my life. And it's yeah. like, oh, yeah. yeah. It's hard when you're like, oh, everyone's so mean to this guy. And, and then you talk to him and you're like, he fucking sucks. Yeah, <laughs> it's because he, he's an asshole. Doesn't it suck when the torch passes and you just slowly become that guy? <laughs> you're like, she was nice on two dates. That's my wife. They're like, oh, no. Oh, then he just doesn't. He's yeah. so broken. <laughs> I have almost the opposite thing. Where my, my life's actually full of a lot of love, but I'll easily fall in love with someone who's mean to me. <laughs> Bingo. Me too, brother. Yeah. Pretty easy. Yeah. Well, you don't have to like your boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. I mean, That's... I do now, but I didn't with the last one. And I was like, okay. Sometimes you want to challenge. <laughs> the, 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 my version of you letting some dud sit with us is I'll just like talk shit about my boyfriend to my, not, not the one I have now. But like I'll like talk shit about someone I'm dating to my friends, and then I'll bring him to a co- like a concert, <laughs> and they all have to be like, "Hey, oh, totally you're the guy who this. called our friend a rat, bitch." Mm. I guess we have to have dinner with you now. Yeah. And I'm like, That's brutal. And I'm like, isn't he funny? <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. I feel like I feel like Maddie, you like the challenge because in your core, you you I feel like a lot of your emotional stuff. You just want a, a good debate. Like you wish you were at a Chapel Hill library debate team, but the topic is, are you fundamentally lovable? <laughs> <laughs> and then, so you're sitting there and you're like, time. And let me tell you another thing. I'm nice, I'm funny, I have so much to offer. And then they're just on their phone. They're just, they're on, just their on their phone. They're just on their phone. Yeah, while you're <laughs> doing like that. <laughs> they don't pause. They just talk nonstop. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have a Netflix special. Like, yeah, right. Man, <laughs> Maddie's filibustering that she deserves love. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude! Yeah. I mean, there is an epidemic of like women dating men who are just not as cool or successful or funny or hot <laughs> as them, and we're all like, "Why won't he love me?" <laughs> That's the only thing losers have. I did it two guys in a row who lived with one of their parents and like couldn't get a job, couldn't get their shit together, barely like I was Venmoing them so that they could like take an Uber because they were late to a date. And then I was like, I just don't think I'm good enough for him. Dude, yeah, that's like the I got that same. I wish fucking I had the And if you're going to call me classist for that, by the way, you fuck that guy. The people calling Lizzie classist can go. I dare fucking- you to fuck that guy. <laughs> 
dare you to fuck that guy. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh my god. These people don't know that you can fucking there's Afterpay is partnered with key restaurants. I know. <laughs> so you can uh, you can for sure You can it. take a lady on you a date. You god. We got to get sponsored. Get a payday loan and just take a lady on a crazy expensive Thank you. date and she'll be like, "Who is this guy?" and then later your card will decline getting an Uber and, then and they after, go, "What is happening?" And then after you do that you can go, "I think we should just stay in." Yeah. I just like you so much. We should mm. just stay in. See, I never pull that. I'm always like, I know. <laughs> just like bleeding, selling all cop- that's because copper. And then I'm like, no, we got to get That's this. because you don't think you're good enough. You think you have to entertain. I do. But you could just I hang out. Get in yeah, front but of your people. presence is enough. Yeah. I just disappear. <laughs> <laughs> the wind. I just, wait, what's happening? I'm, I'm like in purgatory. <laughs> I'm in emotional purgatory until someone tells me I do that and move on to the next life. That's why I feel so old. <laughs> but I <don't> <laughs> <laughs> I actually have been dead for 200 years. <laughs> There's just photos of me just scowling in dive bars from like 1800s. Just checking, a sc- writing a scroll. Of me Prospecting like, in a gold why mine. Did it, why did she read my scroll? <laughs> <laughs> no, the word, she read it, but she didn't write back. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I probably have to We got to wrap up, right? Wrap up in a bit. Well, dude, I... Uh, Plugs, where can people find you? Oh, well, we kind of said it. Like, yeah, follow me on Instagram. I have a podcast a called Respectfully and another podcast called Close Calls. Listen to them. Well, listen and to I run them. a I show. I'm doing, one of th- I'm doing Respectfully yeah, soon. Yeah, like next week. So check it out. And we'll get. And I, we want you to do the other one too. I talked oh, to you about thanks. that. But uh, I also run a show every Wednesday and Saturday at the Gutter in Brooklyn at 9 o'clock called Comedians You Should Know. Legitimately the best show in the whole city. Thanks. Um, And also go... Uh, like and comment on Lizzie's Don't Tell Set because it's so fucking good. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't call, like, comment something nice. <laughs> <Call it something. laughs> I've just been saying rap bitch. <laughs> That's chill. I like that. Yeah. That's cool. Comment rap bitch. Yeah, comment I don't rap know where bitch. you came from. Um, um, you can find me on Instagram at Maddie T. Wiener. Um, and I have tour dates coming up. I'm doing Sacramento, San Francisco, Tulsa this Friday. Um, fucking Detroit. Cleveland, Wilmington, North Carolina, Dead Crow Comedy. All those are uh, the link in my bio or on my website. And sign up for my mailing list so I, you can know when I'm coming to a city near you. And I'm showing my dick at a hacienda. <laughs> <laughs> so come on that. Uh, I got some other dick in dates, but those are no fun. And you can find me on Cash App. I can, yeah, I'm checking. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>